Hello, my name is Chandina Roshanlal. I'm a consultant oncoplastic surgeon in Macclesfield at East Cheshire. I've been tasked to talk to you about, about breast lumps, which is the commonest presenting symptom uh, to a GP surgery and indeed therefore to secondary care. However, it is important to bear in mind that most breast lumps are not malignant, but it is important that all breast lumps undergo triple assessment. Now, there are some red flag symptoms that you must be aware about. Uh, breast lump or an axillary lump, of course, skin changes associated with a lump, a unilateral bloody or clear nipple discharge, or new or unilateral nipple inversion. Also, when talking to the patients, it is important to get a history of exposure to estrogen. That is the age of the patient, when they started their period, when they went through the menopause, how many children, whether or not they were breastfed, HRT or, or oral contraceptive use, obesity and alcohol excess. Family history is also extremely important. A first or second degree family member in the family with breast cancer, or if the breast cancer in the family member is under the age of 50 or bilateral, or there is a male relative with breast cancer or Jewish ancestry, all these factors are important. When you examine the patient, examine her whilst she sat up, to note any visible lumps or any skin changes, any tethering or ulceration, peau d'orange, which is an orange peel appearance or any redness. And also check to see if there is any unilateral nipple retraction. Whilst she's sitting up, you could actually take the initiative and examine her supraclavicular and axillary lymph nodes and then get the patient to lie down at an angle of about 45 degrees with the arms up above her head and examine the breast, each breast systematically, not forgetting the central nipple area and the axillary tail. So a discrete lump will be a focal mass with well-defined borders, which is of a measurable size, and don't worry too much about making a specific diagnosis because really, if you can feel a lump, then you need to refer her to the breast clinic and in the secondary care for a full triple assessment. Uh, because even experienced breast specialists like myself need the di diagnostic accuracy of triple assessment because, you know, breast examination is not easy. However, a lump can also present as nodularity, which could be normal, and it, it is classed as normal if it is bilateral, symmetrical, or it fluctuates with the menstrual cycle. But it is classed as abnormal if it is asymmetrical. So in the triple assessment clinic, in secondary care, what do we do? Well, we do three things. We examine, and the examination is carried out by a breast surgeon or a nurse consultant or a nurse practitioner or indeed a GP with special interest. Then the patient has imaging, which can be mammograms in patients who are 40 years or over or and or an ultrasound scan. And then if indicated, the patient has a biopsy, which could be a core biopsy, which is the usual thing or sometimes a fine needle cytology. Now this slide is really interesting because it tells you immediately that a cancerous lump increases, the chances of a cancerous lump increases dramatically when the patient is over the age of 40. However, in the younger years, a fibroadenoma is the most common lump. And then the cyst, which is also a common lump, happens mainly in the midlife of a patient, i.e. 40 years to 55 years onwards. And then this entity, which is benign nodularity, which is in green there, can happen throughout the course of a woman's life. 
The funny thing is that the most common lump that sometimes we find is a prominent fatty lobule. Um, but it is important to be aware that most lumps need, every lump rather, needs referral to triple assessment uh, clinic. So talking a, a little bit in detail about the specific lumps, fibroadenoma. Now this develops from the whole lobule and contains proliferating epithelium and stroma. And it happens in the late teens and early twenties. The natural history of a fibroadenoma is that most remain static, indeed some reduce or shrink, but only 10% enlarge. If the lady is under the age of 25 and is seen with this lump in the triple assessment clinic, we do not biopsy. Uh, we only biopsy patients over the age of 25. And if it is a B2 biopsy or a benign biopsy, in other words, we discharge the patient. Surgical excision is not advised unless the fibroadenoma is more than four centimeters in size or there is some discord in the triple assessment. Phylloides tumors. Now these are uh, a lump which present very much uh, similar to, uh, which clinically have similar appearances to a fibroadenoma, but they are much less common. The ratio is one in 40 to fibroadenoma. Uh, they happen usually in a woman who is older, so in the 40s, and they can have a spectrum of benign to malignant, but the vast majority are benign. However, because of this spectrum, we recommend excision of these lumps to get a full histopathological assessment. Breast cysts. These are common in the midlife of a the woman. They affect about 10% of these ladies. Uh, they are usually smooth, often multiple, and again, need full triple assessment. Once a cyst is confirmed, the management is conservative. We do aspirate cysts, uh, mainly to get uh, cytological, well, well, mainly to prove that they are cysts and also to uh, improve patient discomfort. Fat necrosis also sometimes presents as a lump. This is adipocyte necrosis with inflammatory response. It often follows trauma, which includes surgical trauma. Uh, it can be a firm, irregular lump and sometimes can mimic breast cancer. So without a shadow of doubt, needs full triple assessment. Breast abscess is also quite common. Um, it can be lactational in a woman who's lactating and therefore the common organisms that this contains our skin organisms and is treated with antibiotics. The other abscess is non-lactational, which occurs in smokers or diabetics, and maybe in the periductal and sub region, and uh, contains aerobic and anaerobic organisms and treated with comoxiclav. In the triple assessment clinic, we continue with antibiotics. We don't stop breastfeeding if the abscess is lactational, and we recommend serial ultrasound guided aspiration. Surgical incision and drainage these days is only performed if the abscess does not respond or if there is necrotic skin. So a malignant lump is painless, firm, irregular, can have superficial or deep tethering, may be accompanied by enlarged lymph nodes, but it cannot solely be excluded by palpation. It needs triple assessment. In fact, all patients with a discrete lump should be referred to secondary care using the standardized suspected breast cancer and symptomatic breast referral form for triple assessment. But we do advise that you don't refer things like skin tags or sebaceous cysts. Thank you for listening.